Hi, I'm Diane Silva with Remax On The Move, and we're doing Portsmouth's Park Bench today with Todd Benita. What's happening? One of the best painters, I think, in the area. And we're in his gallery right now in Agonquit, Maine, but he also has a beautiful gallery on Sears Street in Portsmouth, down by the tugboat ships. We'd love you to stop by. Here's Todd now, and I'm going to ask him a Why few not? quick questions yeah. about how he got started in the business. And I know you used to live in Winthrop, Mass. That's right. You've done your homework, huh? And yeah, yeah near the ocean. And is that how you got many of your pictures, your f yeah, pictures, your your paintings? My oil paintings. Your yeah. oil paintings are mostly a lot of them are of water boats. Um, yeah, and definitely. is that from your love of the ocean? Yes, it is. Yeah, growing up by the ocean. Uh, it didn't take long before the ocean sort of weaved its way into my creative imagination, into yeah. my heart, right? So uh, that came with me and stayed with me throughout art school and throughout the creative part of my life where I decided to make a living as an artist. So yeah, where did you go to school? Just I quickly. went to the Art Institute of Boston. Okay. And, uh, EFA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. I did. Studied illustration and I was an illustrator for 12 years. Really? And then made the transition to fine artists, oh, maybe 13 years ago, something like that. So it's been a, a lifelong of making art professionally. And it's one of those pinch myself careers, like, oh, this is awesome. I get to make my, uh, <laughs> make my living with a paintbrush in my hand. So yeah. I feel very fortunate. Yeah. I, I'm very impressed. You're mostly oil. You do mostly oil. Yeah, mostly oil. oil. It's uh, yeah. I'd say 99% oil. Sometimes I, I will sell an occasional drawing or something like that. But it's okay. mostly oil painting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. And do you do mostly still life? Do you most mostly do? Tell me a little bit um, about your so, subjects. Yeah. Sure. I, I uh, uh, mostly landscape and seascape. Sometimes okay. figurative stuff weaves its way into my work, uh, but if it does, it's mostly as part of the seascape itself, okay. rather than, say, like a figurative painter. Like this one over here, I finished not oh. too long ago. That's my buddy that's Beeman right. in the boat. So th that, that's the, uh, the extent of my figurative work, really. But And sometimes uh, you have a black lab in your boats. Yeah, I have. Is that yes. your dog? No, no, it's fine. I rented the boat to, <laughs> to do this painting, and the okay. owner, who, the guy who owned the boat, it was his dog. And, it was his dog, okay. Yep, so we threw the dog in the boat, and it was, it was fantastic. You see the Neville Lighthouse? Yep, Neville Light. Yeah, I get okay. around. I do a lot of plain air painting. That's painting outdoors on site, and oh, sometimes I'll finish them in the studio, and they find their way here in a frame. Now, I remember, because he's at the Button Factory in Portsmouth, and at the holiday season, there's a weekend. Yeah. Yep. where Todd is there and talks to everyone and at one point you told us um, how you were at the beach and you took a picture maybe and then you decided to draw us you did a whole bunch of paintings yes. about uh, it was Rye Beach maybe yep it was right good for you good memory, good memory <laughs> Diane. yeah so uh, I'd say half of my paintings uh, are from life outdoors okay and the other half are indoors we live in New England so right. it snows more than half the year and it's cold yeah. outside so I'm a fair weather painter, right? You know, I love painting outdoors. It's actually, it's my favorite. I like okay. being with nature, but it's a different type of painting, painting outdoors than All in right. your studio. So about half of my output is paintings completed in my studio uh, at the Button Factory in Portsmouth. Yeah. And um, so primarily I work from photographs mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes I'll work from the studies that I made outdoors or a combination of the two of them. Okay. And that particular one was, um, was Rye Beach. Rye my Beach. kids were surfing on Rye yeah. Beach and I was there at sunset. And, Okay. You know, you don't have to go too far to find something beautiful around the seacoast. That's the thing. I totally know? agree. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you? Dogs. Did George H. Yeah. W. Bush commission something with he you? He didn't commission something. That, so ah. he, I actually gave him that paint. That was oh. a gift. And uh, okay. So we're in Perkins Cove now, and, yes. and uh, George, uh, when he was alive, you know, uh -huh. in, uh, had a place in kind of Yes. And he regarded Perkins Cove as his very favorite place in the world. Um, and really? he would come to Barnacle Billy's and have lunch. And so we, we would see him whenever we, he would come here for, uh -huh. for Barnacle Billy's, the, uh, they would let us know, hey, George yeah, is coming, yeah. you know? Secret and secret. yeah, and I love George. I think um, he, he's one of the, well, he's a great American, you know, uh -huh. a great person. Right. Um, th th there's some personal stories that some of the locals have shared with me about him being philanthropic mm -hmm. in such a way that uh, he wasn't looking for the big news story to cover his giving. That mm -hmm. he was, he's, what I'm saying is a very authentic man, mm -hmm. and, and I, I find uh, who he is as a human very charming. Anyway, long story short, I gifted yeah. him a painting of uh, oh, of a little Perkins Cove scene. And, uh, you yeah. were philanthropic once. I remember you did, or maybe more than once, you did uh, a whole bunch of paintings fast. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple years ago, sold yeah. them in Portsmouth. Yeah, the thirty and thirty. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So well, every now and then we we uh, have a little fundraiser in our gallery. Uh, we're trying to bring that back. We we hope to bring it back in February. The gallery in Portsmouth. Right. Uh, where we give back one month a year, you know. Um, and so we we raise money for for various uh, various things. We sort of make them up as we go along, and mm -hmm. see if you, or whatever the need is at the time. I sort of talk to my staff and a few of my artist friends. And we determine um, what we'll raise money for. Okay. Uh, in that case, it was for a uh, poor little girl who had uh, cancer. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we, we uh, very good. It, it was uh, yeah, it was good. They, the whole community came out mm -hmm. and raised a ton of money for her, and it was it was it was a feel good kind of thing. But yeah. Where do you have your exhibits besides? These two locations. Are you all over the country too? Uh, some Florida? locations. You make me sound cooler than I really am. <laughs> you are cool, Todd. Oh, you're sweet. You are. You're very complimentary. Thank you so much. You certainly swell my my head. But I do. I exhibit in maybe like a half a dozen galleries outside of my own galleries up in Camden, Maine, okay. Key Town, Key West, Florida. Uh, right. One in Manchester, Acton. Blah blah blah. It's all on my website, ToddBenita.com. ToddBenita.com. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. But, well, thank you, Todd. Yeah. I thank, thank you for you're your you're time. So sweet. It was last minute and today. Thank you for the ego stroke. Appreciate yes. That. <laughs> He's the best painter. Oil painting. I'm telling you, there's none Stop better. It. Stop okay. it. Take care. Thank you.